the solution is the Venezuela solution. We have currently using is that the module is not only the package, but it's also copied outside, uh, um, outside the package, directly in the VFS uh, volume. And how it currently uses it, uh, the stage one bootloader still knows the bootloader that's directly on, on VFS, and the stage two bootloader also knows, uh, um, knows the right package command and can extract all the, uh, the kernel and run modules. But that, of course, of course not so nice. Um, but it would be one solution to have the package manager um, always extract the bootloader in this particular case and uh, put it um, into VFS directly. The other solution would uh, be to adjust the like, package format a little bit so that um, it has some kind uh, some support of a simple bootstrap. That we have um, a fixed offset where you know there's the that's the goal for, um, for bootstrapping the package. So you would put the bootloader at that uh, position in the, the hyper package and uh, say one bootloader could, could load the package until this to this point or a bit further and just jump into it. It also means that the uh, station would not be um, um, zipped in this case. That was the one another solution. Oh, we still have to be tired. Already the like of hydro water um, tool uh, of hydro ports, um, which um, gets a build the recipe as an input and builds from it the um, complete package. And uh, I've already adjusted it to build um, item packages instead of the um, option package zip files that we have created before. And this item order is in the uh, work in progress and um, it already does a bit of, of that, but um, there's, there's more to do. And of course, um, all the packages, um, uh, all the external packages that are posted at item ports need an updated build recipe so that all dependencies are declared that the build works correctly. And yeah, that's, that's a lot of work. And I've already started that, but uh, it's just it's boring and uh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Um, just that, uh, actually, this is mostly not a um, save for the communication with the package management daemon. So that has to be implemented, but it's really not that much work. Basically, only it's better to contact the daemon and get a reply and uh, um, act on this for that. There are also a few smaller issues. Um, yeah, that are more interesting in detail. Um, and maybe the other issue is that we, decide, we, we uh, realize that when we have a lot of packages, um, mounting packages, it becomes slow. So at the moment, uh, how it works is that it has to manage this mounted first, and it has to uh, scan the whole um, packages directly, uh, look into each package what it contains, and collect the, uh, and, and create the um, directory tree um, for all the contents. And if you have like what we have, uh, what we have six packages or so, then that's really fast. It's a no brainer. Right we have twenty or fifty packages that may be fast. Uh, as well, but if you get to larger numbers, then maybe that, that becomes slow. If you have to wait 30 seconds or so for all the packages to be scanned at the loop uh, when booting, then that's not really good. So uh, we might need to implement some caching. So whenever the packages directory is, is updated, um, the package uh, as could dump a, a cache file of the current uh, content of the the extracts uh, of the, uh, the extracted packages, and when you boot, uh, you just read the cache file, check if it's still up to date, and uh, it will be done in instant. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, the package bit is partially done, the like, package support is, is, is done. Um, the, um, the package uh, installation, the installation is not done at all yet. It's yeah, been done. Um, the solar support, the, the dependent solar support, is still a uh, work in progress. <laughs> and uh, started or mostly all the uh, installed uh, library we are going to use. Um, but I, 
I don't have, uh, or didn't have enough uh, packages to directly declare dependency to really test it. Um, but once that is done, the, the service port and the package dependence. Uh, um, the package and the demon is completely missing at the moment, um, so it has to be implemented. And the package manager, we have we have a counter package manager already already package managed, uh, but it's missing all the stuff that is missing currently in the uh, package kit, uh, mainly the package install annotations. So, um, and the graphical package manager is completely missing. There's also uh, in the high build system a uh, few things that need to be adjusted or already, or already adjusted uh, it so that builds uh, um, high uh, builds uh, our sources into high packages. Uh, as you've seen, the big, uh, mainly the big high package. Um, now there's more stuff that needs to be done. Uh, for instance, uh, files, um, application files have to be, or well, HTML files, text files have to be installed and have to be identified. Before they are coming to the um, uh, into the uh, into the package because package is completely read only. So um, the workaround to it at the moment that is at the first boot uh, runs the uh, rhyme set of all the um, uh, or all applications and a lot of other files that won't work anymore because all of that is read only. So you could run it, but it won't do anything good. Uh, so we have the build system itself has already to uh, identify pipes and whatever uh, to uh, before packaging those files. And the uh, GCC four GCC two hybrid support is, has been removed and has to be re-enabled so that uh, GCC four package is built for the GCC two package. And I hope the final slide. Um, yeah, we have the problem of the localization of the package thing. Um, the package files itself contain a summary and a, and a description, which are strings presented to the user, the user so they have to be localized at one point. Uh, is a thing about how to do it. And there are miscellaneous uh, like applications to expecting uh, uh, certain directives to be writable. But once in Despa tracks their, uh, its replicants by attacking by adding an attribute to all the replicants that are installed. Uh, but if um, those replicants are in some package, uh, and the read only package manager dependent package of this, then this attribute cannot be added, and at the moment there are no uh, Despa replicants. This is still annoying. And so this has to be solved differently, probably by a settings file that the Despa starts instead of uh, this attribute solution. And Expander also has. Uh, uh, depending on what uh, zipping uh, algorithms are installed, the package of the rules files currently is uh, adjusted, but this has to be resolved in the because of course that is installed uh, as all we do. Yeah, thank you. First of all, if you have uh, something, well, one thing I looked at, everything is going to get dumped in a HPKG PKG file. So if you have something like uh, a, a language, like Python, that actually can have libraries installed by its own installers, will that happen transparently because it's available to 
Sure, I mean, it's possible to implement them with no fuzz at all, because they are, do, they do have the uh, non packaged folders in common and in uh, home config. Like, this is just the standard, what well, used to be root common, it's going to root common non package or something. So, these files could be installed there. That's as I saw that in the packages in the system, Python 2.6. Yeah, but that's just Python. Yeah. It's just the base. But it, it, within it, it contains site packages folder. And that's where it looks for, that's part of the Python path when it looks for modules. So if you were to install. Yeah, Python, I'm pretty sure it can be built to look at a certain number of. Oh, this, okay, this would be something like yeah, the package. That would be that, like the package links thing. Would be, yeah, that and um, what they use for this um, script language usually provides they have a set of folders they look there which they search for modules they can load. So we have um, the vendor stuff, the uh, site stuff, yeah. and the yeah. other okay. stuff, yeah. which is basically the user. Yeah, because the package itself is read only, so they can't. Exactly. Yeah. And, and Another difficulty there with the scripting languages, um, there, there are lots of modules out there, yep. and you can either um, basically download the module and install it somewhere, and they only script a specific package management format, or we can provide um, well, pre compiled modules uh, as in an H. <laughs> and, um, and it's really difficult to say what is better. And I mean, look at the Linux distributions, they, they provide a certain set of native packages for the most important modules. And then after that, you don't know. You just have to use either the, the support that the language gives you in Python or in Perl, basically, you just compile it. Mm. So, this will always be some kind of mixture. 